Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, welcome. I am Danya Shetty. I do informative videos about studying abroad. If you are interested in such type of contents, then please do consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification right there so that you get notified whenever I am online. So guys, if you have been following up for, for some weeks, you might be knowing that I uploaded a Q&A video. So I am going to uh, uh, answer all those questions that you asked in the comment of that video. So... Without any further delay, let's start. So guys, um, the very first question asked is, have you applied without GRE? Did you get any scholarship? Is there risk during visa interview? So let me just break this down. Um, have you applied without GRE? Yes, I have applied without GRE. That is a speciality. I have applied without GRE and without application fees. And I have done video of both the things. So do go and check it out if you have not yet checked out. And yes, I got offer from two universities till now. And uh, did you get any scholarship? So no, I have not got any scholarship yet. Because to get a scholarship, you need to finish your I-20 process. Uh, once you finish your I-20 process, you will be getting a, a you know standard or official student ID and password using which you can apply for scholarships and uh, assistantships and stuff like that. So no so uh, as soon as i you know get my i20 pro, uh, i am done with my i20 i will tell you what happened and i'll explain you the entire process i will also do a video if i get a scholarship how you can get a scholarship so don't worry about that so next is there risk any during visa interview so i guess you're asking is there any risk uh, if you don't try gr is there any risk during visa interview so given this covid 19 situation there is no risk as such just that uh, uh, the way of you attempting the questions asked during the visa interview will be different which i will be making a separate video about like how you need to approach uh, in your visa interview so stay tuned So hi Danya, I wanna apply to Spring 22 for MS and CS, and I haven't taken GRE yet. Do you think I will be able to find some affordable universities within deadline? Please mention some cheap and affordable universities that have waived off GRE for Spring 22 in Computer Science or Data Science field. So hey, first of all, uh, thank you for asking this question, but see you need to understand there are around 300 plus courses and i can just give you a basic information which i have given in a gre waiver of video searching if your particular course and your course is computer science which is very good because uh, with whatever universities have you given in uh, uh, you know gre waiver video most of the universities apply to you so some work you have to do all by yourself. I can give a basic work keeping everyone in mind. So that is your cup of tea. You have to do that research. Anyhow, affordable universities, I have done video on that too. So just check out that video of affordable universities and see if they have waived off. Anyhow, just because you asked this question in the Q&A video, I'll be telling you some of the universities, not affordable one, but that has waived off GRE for computer science. So... There is Cornell University uh, that has a acceptance rate of 10.90 and a country ranking of 2 and a world ranking of 2, a QS ranking of 18 and it does give you a GRE waiver for spring 2022 intake. Then there is uh, University of California San Diego. This is a cheap university, affordable university. Uh, it has an acceptance rate of 31.50% and country ranking is 5, world ranking is 5 and QS ranking is 54. Again, this gives GRE waiver for spring intake. Then comes uh, University of Wisconsin Madison. So University of Wisconsin Madison is also not that uh, expensive. It gives GRE waiver for spring intake if you mail them and ask for it specifically. Then comes University of Pittsburgh. University of Pittsburgh has an acceptance rate of around 56.70% and it has a country ranking of 13, world ranking of 16, 15 uh, and a QS ranking of 156. So yeah 
it has waived GRE till 2023 so congrats whoever is applying for anything take till 2023 you have GRE waiver for from this particular university next comes University of California Berkeley again this is one of the affordable university and this particular university also has waived off GRE and the uh, acceptance rate is for this particular university is 16.30 percent and country ranking is 32 uh, world ranking is 53 and QS ranking is 32 so the very next question is hello sister I want to apply for MS in electrical engineering on spring 22 kindly suggest me some affordable universities that are waving off GRE so hello thank you for asking me this question by the way uh, I can tell you some universities that are, are waving off GRE and I can mention if in this list there are uh, some affordable universities but if you want to see the entire video of affordable universities I have made a separate video on that please go and check it out so for computer science, uh, there is also uh, Stanford University. Stanford University has a uh, acceptance rate of 4.30%. It has a world ranking of uh, 20 and a country ranking of 2. It has a QS ranking of 29 and it offers GRE for spring 2022 intake for computer science. Okay, now let's go back to uh, let's go back to electrical engineering yeah so the very first university is Cornell University again uh, I have told the acceptance rate and the QS ranking and world ranking everything it offers GRE waiver for um, spring 22 intake for electrical engineering next is again University of Wisconsin Madison this particular university also offers GRE waiver if you inquire them through mail and ask them for a waiver they will 100% provide you a waiver so you just need to request them for a waiver next again University of Pittsburgh this is such a sweetheart university this university has waived off GRE waiver till 2023 so guys please go and check it out Next is Carnegie Mellon University. Carnegie Mellon University has an acceptance rate of 15.40%. It has a country ranking of 14, world ranking of 16 and a QS ranking of 51. And it is offered GRE waiver for uh, electrical engineering for spring 2022. So the next university is University of California, Berkeley. This is one of the cheapest university. Go and check it out. This particular university offers GRE waiver for uh, spring 2022 intake and I have given a detailed fee structure like total cost of attendance of two years in Indian rupees in my video of affordable universities. Please do go and check it out you guys. Question is there are many queries. Okay, so he has just uh, numerized the questions. So the very first question is what's I-20 fees? So, good question. There is no I-20 fees. Uh, let me just tell you briefly what is the I-20 process. So, first you will be going and ask, first you will get an admit letter. Once you get an admit letter, you will be asking universities if you can get a, uh, if, okay. First you will get an admit letter. In that admit letter, they will be giving a certain particular amount of fees that you have to show if you, in case you want your I-20 or in case you are finaling that university and you, if you want your I-20, that particular fund should be shown in your account. Now what happens is, I, if you are self-funded and if you are arranging all that money, well and good. Like they usually will uh, ask you for one year tuition fees plus one year living expense ka money to be in your account as a proof but in case you don't have all that money and you're going to loan then what you have to do is first apply for loan and uh, they will not under percent they will under percent not give you loan without your i20 so for your i20 they will give a slip they will see your eligibility and if you are eligible for the loan they will give a slip telling that they can provide you so much money for the for your masters so that slip you have to send them via mail or however they tell you you have to send them send it to them and then they process and review everything and then they give your i20 once you get your i20 then only the bank people will proceed with the loan application so this is the entire process there is no fees involved if there is some fees involved it is the processing fees of the bank for your loan that is later after i20 
So the next question is how much time will we get to pay the I-20 fees after getting admitted? So my friend, you have a complete wrong idea about I-20. So you're not paying that money. As I told you, you're not paying that money. You are just asking your bank to provide the slip, telling that they can provide you so much amount. So there is nothing to pay. Don't worry. And you have enough time before visa procedure. You uh, before one month before visa procedure. If you have your I-20, well and good. So don't stress out. You have if you're going for spring intake, you have time till September. You have time till September. So it's good if you finish your I-20 process by September because after that you have to have your own whole concentration on visa procedure. So at least you need three months you have to keep for visa procedure in case in worst case transition if your visa gets rejected then you need an extra one month. So three months you have to keep for your visa procedure. So I would suggest you to get done with that I-20 process by September. Next, after applying for education loan can we use that money for our personal use? So after getting education loan, after reaching your uh, what can I tell after reaching your desired destination once you have reached the desired destination once you have opened the bank account there and then you have paid the fees then you can take the living expense or remaining money and you can use it for your personal use yes you can use it but before that you cannot use it for your personal use it should be there in your account till you reach USA so next question is I have 10 years work experience in IT wow uh, age is 35 can I apply for study visa if yes can I apply directly without giving any exam first of all sir you have 10 years work experience age doesn't matter for doing your masters yes you can apply for student visa and you'll have no no problem during your visa interview because if you have 10 years work experience with or without these privileges you would get a GRE waiver you just need to concentrate on your IELTS and you're good to go that's about it guys thank you for watching till the end of my video I'm very grateful for all of you who have asked my asked me these questions I hope this video has helped you all um, yeah bye take care and don't forget to like this video bye